Good night, welcome you back to the Debrenic Channel. Today I am Chip and we are here to uncover how weather shapes our lakes as we do every single week. If you enjoy this content, I'd love for you to like and subscribe if you feel the value and tell a friend. Invite a friend and let's see where this channel goes. We can't grow this channel without your help and, well, I don't hardly ever ask, so today I'm asking. So let's see what we can do here. We are talking about California today as we scoot out here to Wendy.com. Early morning, Saturday, got plenty to do today, and video was top priority. It's been a little bit since I made a video, and we got more precipitation coming. It's starting to slow down as seen everything starting to shift to the north, especially like to Washington and Oregon. Typically it does, and it'll continue to scoot as the days get longer and longer. Everything seems to shift northward. Now here we are, a little bit of light precipitation over the next several days. We're going out to March 1st here, about an inch or so, inch there. So nothing crazy like we had been getting. We'll be looking at the three-day forecast where you just got really hit really hard. Again, 1.66 inches over in Shasta, over in Redding, 0.92. East Quincy down here, about 0.5. Five, nine, and then over here by Grass Valley, close to the American River, 0 0.77. Hello, Yuba City. Steve, 0 0.33 inches. Carson City, 0 0.17. And you can see just not a whole lot of precipitation in general. Down here by Bakersfield a little bit. They actually got rain over in Vegas. It was 200 and some odd days since they got rain, and now they're getting nothing again. Lake Havasu, a comfortable 50 degrees currently, but you go up to Reno where it's 12 degrees right now so this is what we got going on the difference in elevation is crazy so you can see plenty of rain from Alaska all the way down to Northern California for the next seven days. You can see the atmospheric river has shifted to the north. Vancouver, Seattle, Portland. Spokane's going to get it. This part of the country is generally dry. It's starting to dry out. We'll see if this continues or if this will trend out overall. The Colorado is going to get quite a bit. Now the GFS is calling for something completely different. They're calling for a lot more over here. So we'll see 2.86. Might come back with the video tomorrow on that. And down here a little less so we'll see some people seem to think that the gfs and the european overestimate however they were pretty spot on the last several storms so let's go see the 72 hour rainfall and see what has happened as you can see we got quite a bit of precipitation over the last several days here we scoot in close to chico over here in paradise in the watershed there they got 5.72 on top of the 20 some odd inches that they got on the last video which was less than a week ago so you guys got hit pretty hard we come over here to shasta national forest 5.19 come over here close to trinity here 1.82 redding over here received about 1.67 and yuba city steve hello steve 1.19 and we come down over here to tahoe national forest uh, 4.89 we come over to sacramento you got about 1.34 so a lot of this is snow obviously 6.35 over here and then further down here you you have 10.48 so los angeles got hit pretty hard from what i understood they got 2.53 and then 8.52, and we come over to Vegas that hardly ever gets any rain. They got 0 0.59, and everything was flooded on 0 0.59 inches. If, if that happened anywhere else, generally, you, you wouldn't get any kind of flooding whatsoever. However, we come over here for my Colorado people that like the Colorado River. Come over here, you can see that they received about 2.01 inches and 0 0.94. So they definitely could use some more. This is good, but this is not great. We scoot in here a little bit. 0 0.92 come over to cedar city over here and you got 0 0.44 so not to bore you guys but basically we have quite a bit of precipitation in the colorado river shed nothing like over here unfortunately we'll be monitoring this this is an el nino we'll see what ultimately happens let's go see what the water levels are over in california and let's do that now we'll start off at lake Folsom like we always do and you can see that it's completely on the rise with all that precipitation you had a low on february first and now we are up to a year high of today 433 feet and that was on saturday february 15 2025 at 2 a.m the level is 32.61 feet below full pool of 466 feet changes since yesterday the lake is up 1.95 feet over the last 24 hours almost two feet that's pretty good over the last seven days the lake is up 13.23 feet 
Over the last 14 days, the lake is up 36.57 feet. Over the last 30 days, the lake is up 35.31 feet. Over the last six months, the lake is up 11.28 feet. And over the last year, the lake is up 5.32 feet. Your inflows, those are currently 17,943. And your outflows are currently 3,469. And let's go out to your three-year bar graph next. As we roll out to your three-year bar graph, you can see 466 is full, as we stated just a minute ago. In 2023, we we're looking at 419.30 feet. Last year, we were looking at 428.07 feet. And today, like stated earlier, we're a little bit higher, 433.39 feet. Deadpool there at Lake Folsom is 300. And we continue to go out to percentage of capacity now. As we roll out to percentage of capacity, you can see that the current percentage of capacity at the lake is 65.82%. Let's roll up to New Bullard's Bar next. As we roll out to New Bullard's Bar, you can see it's been up and down over the last week. So this should reflect in the arrows the last couple weeks anyway. So it went down and then it went up. So we'll see what it says. We're currently sitting at 1,972.80 feet. And that was on Saturday, February 15, 2025 at 2 a.m. The level is 27. 0.20 feet below full pool of 1,955 feet. Changes since yesterday, the lake is up 0.194 over the last 24 hours. Over the last seven days, the lake is down 0.16, just as predicted, according to the graph there. Over the last 14 days, the lake is up 18.56 feet. Over the last 30 days, the lake is up 13.76 feet. Over the last six months, the lake is up 23.73 feet. And over the last year, the the lake is up 19.33 feet. So they released a little bit of water there because because they knew more rain was coming. So just to be on the safe side, this is just what they do. Inflows are currently 7,540. Your outflows are currently 4,910. So that's why the lake continues to rise. Let's go out to your three-year bar graph. As we roll out to your full pool is 1,955 feet. In 2023, the water level was 1,917.05 feet. 2024, the water Water level was 1,908.47 feet, and today we are looking at 1,927.80 feet. So little over 10 feet over the last year. Deadpool is always and forever 1,700 feet. And we go out to percentage of capacity next. As we roll out the percentage of capacity, your current percent is 86.63%. Let's keep on rolling here. As we roll out to Lake Trinity, you can see that the current water level is 2,342.10 feet. You can see it's kind of on the decline. So we'll see what that does in the numbers. And you got to remember it's, it's so high in the elevation that a lot of this is locked up in snow. So no worries there. Let's roll on out. The water level was 2,342.10 feet, and that was on Saturday, February 15, 2025 at 2 a.m. The level is 27.90 feet below a full pool of 2,370. Changes since yesterday. The lake is down 0.07 inches, so very seldomly down, but I predicted that as you've seen on the graph. The lake is also down 0.32 feet over the last seven days. Over the last 14 days, the lake is up 7.5 five feet over the last 30 days the lake is also up 7.91 feet over the last six months the lake is up 10.07 feet and over the last year the lake is up 27.66 feet inflows are currently 2,403 outflows are 3,602 making a little room in the reservoir just as they should and let's continue to scoot on here to your three-year bar graph the top of the glory hole there at Lake Trinity is 2,370.10 feet. In 2023, the water level was 2,229.40 2,200 feet. 2024, we are looking at 2,314.44 feet. And today, we are looking at 2,342.10 feet. So it's continued to rise. Deadpool is 2,100 feet. Let's roll over to percentage of capacity next. As we roll out to Lake Trinity's percentage of capacity, you can see that the current percentage of capacity is 82.41%. And let's roll over to Lake Shasta next. 
As we roll out to Lake Chasta, you can see that the water level is 1,035.53 feet. And that was on Saturday, February 15th, 2025 at 2 a.m. The level is 31.47 feet below a full pool of 1,067. Changes since yesterday, the lake is down 0.69 feet over the last 24 hours. The lake is also down 15.20 feet over the last seven days. They have really released quite a bit of water over the last over the last 14 days. Days, the lake is up 6.92 feet over the last 30 days the lake is up 7.63 feet over the last six months the lake is up 19.53 feet and over the last year the lake is down 3.75 feet so we're lower today than we were last year at this time inflows are 28,231 and check this out they're really cooking they're looking quite a bit of water out 41,730 they must be anticipating all that snow melt at some point let's roll out to year three year bar graph next as we roll out to the three-year bar graph we call it 1067 for your full pool in 2023 we were looking at 992.29 feet in 2024 we were looking at 1039.28 feet 2025 today we're looking 1035.53 feet so you can see the difference that's why we were down over the last year and Deadpool there is way lower, 737.75 feet. Percentage of capacity is next. As we roll out to percentage of capacity there at Lake Shasta, we're looking at 80.78%. Let's go out to Lake Oroville for our final stop this morning. As we roll out to Lake Oroville, you can see the roller coaster here got really high. They released quite a bit of water. Now they're putting more water back in. Our current water level there at Lake Oroville is 860.21 feet, and that was on Saturday, February 15th, 2025 at 2 a.m. The level is 39.79 feet below a full pool of 900. Changes since yesterday, the lake is up. 1.54 feet over the last 24 hours. The lake is also down 3.29 feet over the last seven days, as seen earlier. Over the last 14 days, the lake is up 19.49 feet. Over the last 30 days, the lake is up 25.11 feet. Over the last six months, the lake is up 26.55 feet. And over the last year, the lake is up 9.82 feet. Inflows are currently 27,533, and your outflows are 8,380. And let's go to your three-year bar graph next. As we roll out to your bar graph, 900 is full pool. In 2023, we were looking at 822.22 feet. Last year, we were looking at 850.39 feet. And today, we are looking at 860.21 feet. So we're in much better shape this year than last year. Dead pool there is 640. And percentage of capacity for our final stop this morning. And here we go. As we roll out to Lake Oroville's percentage, Percentage of capacity, our percentage of capacity there at Lake Oroville is 83.08%. Thank you guys for stopping by. God bless, and we will see you maybe tomorrow morning. Have a blessed day.